how to be successful in life. Every single person likes to be successful, isn't it? Nobody likes defeat. Nobody sets out in life just to lose and to fail. But the reality is that far too many people, they do fail. So there is uh, a question, you know, why do some people prosper while others struggle? There is no simple answer to that question, actually. But let us reason jointly together. Let's try to understand, you know, how things work, why things are not working. Imagine we are going to build a ladder. I believe it is audible for everyone. Yes, sir. It's audible. So, yes, sir. Yes. All right. No all problem. right. So imagine uh, we are going to build a ladder. And obviously, a ladder has many rung, right? So what is a rung? Rung is the horizontal support bar which you will find on the ladder. So as we endure to build the ladder, we need material for the rung. And that rung is going to be our skills. Let me take your attention to some of the video games we play. Only when we are successful in level one, we can unlock level two. If we are not able to complete level one, we'll never be in a position to move forward to the next level. You cannot skip a few levels, right? You cannot go for the giant leap, leaving out basic essential skills. So similar with life also. In life, we need to cater many skills or maybe many rung in this ladder in order to reach to the top. Oliver Napoleon Hill, one of America's prominent self-help authors, says something very interesting and significant. He says, the ladder of success is never crowded at the top. Wow. What does he mean by that? So to put in simple terms, not everyone builds his rung strong enough to move to the next level. A big life lesson for us, my dear friends. Not everyone builds. Not everyone is skillful to reach to the top. Look at the picture carefully. There are many at the bottom of the ladder, not able to climb and achieve their goals. Maybe sometimes their rung is weak and broken. Sometimes their rung is not strongly made. Sometimes someone else climbs before they do. A very competitive world, isn't it? So it happens. We need to build the rungs very carefully. And how are we going to do that? We need to build it stronger. At the same time, we also need to build it deeper. Let us understand what we want in life. Let us dream. Let us have a goal. Let's find out what all skills needed to reach the goal. Let us build ourselves. So the skills which we acquire, they are going to create opportunities. And today, I'm going to focus on the language skills. So what is language skill? We have four. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So we have four language skills. So we are going to work quickly how to uh, anyhow we are talking about skill it's not knowledge so whatever i'm going to express today it might maybe change you internally but if you're not going to work if you're not going to put your hand and work on it i think it'll be very very difficult for us to acquire skill because we cannot climb the ladder of success 
with our hands in our pockets, right? So we need to work. We need to work on it. So today, I'm going to give you a few ideas. I'm going to share with you some of the experiences which I had as a teacher, maybe as a student, as a learner. And today, we are just going to learn, all right? So you need to aspire to learn. If there is no aspiration to learn, things are going to be difficult. So only when you have the thirst for learning, you can inspire. So if you want to really learn, you need to ask. You need to ask the help. Probably sometimes this help might come from books, sometimes from your teachers, sometimes from your friends, but then you need to ask, aspire to learn so that you can inspire many in the later days. There is an old Sanskrit quote, I believe you will be aware of that, which says like this, let noble thoughts come to me from all directions. I'm not going to restrict myself from gaining this knowledge and skill. Let it flow from all sides, you know? So it says like that. Learning begins with a question. So do not hesitate to ask. So the ask here, which you find in the screen, has a different connotation altogether. It is an acronym. Acronym, you know, A stands for attitude. Yes stands for skill and K stands for knowledge. Learning happens when there is a synergy of attitude, skill, and knowledge. Okay, so only when there is a mix, learning really happens. So let us focus on today's major thrust, four skills, you know, you know the meaning of all these four, right? You know the meaning of listening. You know what speaking is. You know what reading is. And we know what writing is, okay? So here, listening and reading, they are receptive skills. These are skills, my dear friends. So it will not come naturally. It will not come naturally. So you might be wondering, okay, so sometimes some of the skills I've got it naturally, maybe. Let's see, all right? So I have some examples. Maybe we'll work on it as we learn. I'll, I'll try to tell you clearly that these four are skills. So listening and reading, as I told you, they are receptive. You know, you get it from outside. And speaking and writing, they are productive skills, all right? So understand one thing very carefully. These four skills, they don't exist in vacuum. They are not separate. They are interconnected. They are very much connected. You cannot pull one skill out and throw it away. Only when you acquire these four skills, we will be mastering this language any 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 language for that matter if you want to speak a language you need to be strong in all these four skills you need to be strong in listening you need to be strong in speaking you need to be strong in reading at the same time you need to be strong in writing also so today we are just going to spend some time understanding what each skill is all about and how we can work on ways to improvise any of those skills. So let's begin with listening. You know, usually people never consider listening as a skill, you know, because they often confuse with hearing. We have an organ, we have a, you know, we have an ear, we have ears and when a sound is made somewhere, we are able to hear. My dear friends, that's not listening. It varies. It, it is different. You know, your listening is a skill. For hearing, you don't have to be skillful. If we have that organ, it's natural for us to hear. 
but listening on the contrary is skill it demands attention it demands concentration you know there is a small ratio you know like it goes like this normally the speaking rate of a person you know like we might use 120 to 150 words per minute maybe in our mother tongue maybe in any language which we are comfortable with in a minute we'll be able to utter 120 to 150 words but us but our brain is super power you know it has the cap capability it has the capacity to process even 500 to 700 words in a minute but we are using only 120 to 50 so what really happens is the brain it's idle for most of the time so when it is idle it has space you know it's listening even now you are listening but then your brain has capability to grab more words more attention and like obviously attention you know way worse we 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 change we tend to think of some other things even when we are trying to listen to someone else and by doing so our listening it gets affected remember how we spoke our mother tongue you know when we started to learn this mother tongue it was by listening isn't it we never went for books initially it all started by listening we lis- we did listen to a word and we replicated we used that and that's how we acquired our mother tongue even if i'm going to ask you some nuances of our tamil or else malayalam whichever mother tongue is you know we have problems in our mother tongue if i'm asking about the mother tongue's grammar sometimes we don't know but we are comfortable using this language how because we been listening to this language so this listening is predominant it is so important we need to pay lot of attention to listening it helps so listening okay so uh, let's let's just uh, try to understand how this varies from uh, hearing you know listening is an art okay so it it really needs self discipline without that i think it's very difficult for us to listen it's very difficult for us to concentrate because we will be busy somewhere else like i told you our brain is super power and it has lot of space and uh, it'll be busy with some other thoughts also so you need attention it's an active process you know i believe uh, just check the word listen the word listen contains the same letters as the word silent so only when we are quiet only when we concentrate only when there is no daydreaming here and there when someone is talking and when we start to daydream gone the conversation is gone there is no communication and obviously there are other factors like external noise uncomfortable environment which we are in you know these things might not help us to really listen so we need to be attentive we need to find a way to listen so that's what i told you it's a skill it needs practice just imagine when you hear a song in your mother tongue we quickly pick even uh, the toughest words right even when the song goes in rock fashion we'll be able to understand the word but what happens when an english song is being played we are not able to comprehend why you know there is a problem you know we need to listen and this listening requires a person to you know he needs to receive he needs to interpret and at the same time he needs to react so these three components go hand in hand 
you cannot ignore one and gain this listening skill so receiving you pay attention if someone is saying something and if a person is trying to express his views if you are going to be judgmental if you are going to say ah these things i know here no you don't have i mean when we have a thought like that even if the person tries to give some new opinion it will never get into our head why because we are already our cup is already full so we fail to focus so we need to focus we need to receive initially so that's the first process and then in your mind you need to do something you need to interpret you need to understand you know all these things will happen simultaneously you don't have separate time for each you have to do as you receive you need to interpret you need to understand the meaning probably you can even imagine the meaning you can even imagine the words you know as uh, spoken you can imagine you can like understand through images and finally you are going to react and reacting is responding reacting not in a negative way it's like responding to the speaker so we have a very difficult thing now you know as webinar we don't know whether students or participants are listening in a class we'll be able to identify that but here we have a problem so you know like i told you it's a skill so we need to find ways to improvise on our own skills so like i told you it has three components if you want to be a good listener you need to receive at the same time understand and interpret the message and respond if any one of these three fail to happen communication fails if someone talks and you are not responding gone you know if someone speaks and you are not able to understand the idea gone so that is all about listening it's not over but it's a process okay so till uh, time is running out so i'm moving on so speaking is one which students of our place find it very very difficult you know if you want to speak this language there is only one option you need to speak listening will obviously help you but it's for 10 person if you have the desire to speak and if you're not speaking but you are just listening i think my dear friends you will not it will it will not work that way there is no plan b you if you want to speak you will have to start speaking there is no plan b in order to speak obviously listening is very helpful writing will be helpful by reading you will also be gaining but then if you want to speak the message is very clear talk speak with your friend sometimes you find it difficult to talk with your friends i have some ideas also maybe let's work on you know uh, charles is the king of france okay charles uh, magne he says some interesting thing about second language acquiring a second language he says to have a second language is to have a second soul my goodness you know can you imagine the kind of wealth a language gives to an individual it gives a new identity altogether you become a different person altogether with language so let me ask you a few questions do you speak english is there any need for me to use english in my life you know some of the questions which we ask let's let's just reason together am i able to express myself clearly in in english let's in, 
introspect. Let's do it to ourselves. Am I able to speak? Am I able to express myself clearly? Is English that difficult? Is English a difficult language? Why I am not able to speak as I wanted to? Some of the times, you know, we tend to work very hard, but still we're not able to express as we really wanted to express. We falter. We're not able to be at our best. And this question is always there in the heart of students because I've been with students for a decade. And one of the things which frightens them is when I ask them to come to the dais and speak something. If I ask them to speak in English, they scatter actually. They never can because of fear. They tremble because of lack of confidence in themselves. What should I do to improve fluency? Okay, I'm not going to judge you, but let's let's see. You know, if I want to improve my language, if I want to improve my speaking skills, what am I supposed to do? I've got two things. Maybe there are many things, but I, I'll just uh, hint two things for you. Let's see how things work. Number one, learn a word a day. You know, if you are really interested in learning this language, these are all the components we need to have. When we don't have words, we'll not be able to express ourselves. We'll fail in expressing ourselves. So learn a word a day. This is going to be a homework for you. I might not be there to check, but then sometimes your uh, you know, faculty, maybe in your college, they'll be able to guide you. Learn a word a day. It is a homework from my side, assignment from my side. And it's not just for a day, okay? Maybe do it for three months you'll be learning almost like 90 words. Okay, maybe even if you are missing 30 days, 50 words, and that is a wealth, my dear friends. If you could learn 50 words in three months, my goodness. And when you learn, you should learn thoroughly, okay? You should learn very clearly. Just learn one word a day, that is enough. But then make sure you follow some principles. You learn its part. I have given an example here. I have used the word adroit. Adroit is a word. It's an adjective. So put a note. You like Whenever you learn a word, make sure you learn every single day. Put a date and write that word, adroit. And next to that, you just put in a bracket, adjective. So that's very important. We need to know the parts of that particular word also. And number three, check the pronunciation. You know, pronounce, pronunciation. It differs. So you need to know how to pronounce the word rightly. So if we are not able to pronounce it rightly, then the, the process of learning a word becomes a failure. So find a way. Maybe you have... Uh, uh, lots of online apps these days. It helps, you know, listen to that and try to use this word. Number three. Number four, learn the meaning. Obviously, we do that. Maybe sometimes a word has uh, maybe three or four different meanings. Note it down. Learn it. Use accordingly. Adroit here means skillful, adept, clever. And try to use this particular word in a sentence. It helps. So create your own sentence using the word which you learn. So this is my first tip. If you want to be, if you want to have fluency, if you want to have confidence, just try. This is my first tip and I have one more tip. All right. So learn a word a day. That is mandatory. Note it down somewhere. 
and i want you people to learn even though you are not able to contact me it's okay no you be your own mentor you be your own teacher be accountable learn every day that's number 1 number 2 there is a method to improvise uh, fluency one small trick you know, to become a very effective speaker what is that it's jam okay not the one which we use in bread and butter along with that okay so you will become very fluent if you follow the small fluency game it is once again an acronym which says just a minute just a minute jam example all right what are we going to do number 1 this is very important listen to it very carefully and apply it if you are not going to apply it nothing will change if you want to find change in your life if you want to have if you want to boost up your confidence i think it's right time for you to start and the best thing is you don't even need a companion to express yourself you know you can do it all by yourself let's see how to do this number 1 you need to talk about a topic for 1 minute all right it can be any topic it can be about your hobbies it can be about your friends it can be about your college it can be what not anything under the sun but make sure that you oh, so that's the second point you know so make sure that you are speaking for one continuous minute without a break don't pause more than 3 seconds the normal pausing is okay all right the normal pausing you need to do apart from that don't just wait for ideas to come in your mind just speak just speak just keep talking don't pause all right that's number 2 number 3 do not repeat ideas you should not repeat the same thing in your one minute talk you should have different ideas so uh, since i'm asking you to have different ideas that doesn't mean that you need to write something and read it no that's not what i'm trying to say just randomly pick some topic whatever you find right in front of you sometimes your computer sometimes your mobile phone sometimes your wallet whatever you find right in front of you don't just think you know you just set yourself a target a timer for 1 minute and begin to speak all right it's okay sometimes we might struggle it's okay but that is how life teaches lessons right that's how life teaches lessons we might have fall but it's okay we can get up we can rebuild so number 1 talk for 1 minute and do not pause for more than 3 seconds number 3 don't repeat the ideas be spontaneous don't try to have any notes and read and finally very important thing record it we all have mobile uh, smartphones these days so we have this recording facility please record it for 1 minute and then listen to it record it and listen 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 to your own speech maybe now you can take down notes now you can ruminate now you can think what all the other points probably i could have added maybe you just note it down maybe you know just jot it down in your rough work rough paper and after giving some minutes time for ruminating for gathering information you just note down some in, uh, uh, some points and then go for the second recording and this time you have points this time you have worked on the same topic and once again do the same stuff 
record it for one minute. I'm very sure the second time will be better than how you presented it the first time, but it's okay. You know, these are all the ways how we can improvise on our own skill. Speaking, very, very essential. Knowledge alone is not sufficient. Some of the times, you know, in our college, we get a lot of marks. But, but that is not sufficient, my dear friend. We need to be skillful. You know, just by attending a spoken English class and having a certificate in your hand is not going to help you. You cannot show the certificate stating that I can speak. No, you have to speak. Only when you speak, people will take you in to give you your rightful opportunity. You aspire for a job only when you are in a position to express yourself. So this is a rung. You know, your goal might be at the top, but these are all the ways in which you climb to reach to the top. So you need this rung, this skill called speaking. And it comes by practice. So I've given you two very, very effective methods. Practice. Do work it out. It works 100%. It works 100% because there is no plan B like I told you. Only if you speak, you can be a better speaker. Just having a dream to speak will not help you. You need to work. You need to have the focus. You need to have the aspiration to work it out also. Okay. So I believe you've listened, you've learned, you've gathered some information, some life lesson for practicing in the days to come. Maybe we'll move on. The next important skill. Like I told you, all the four are interconnected. We learned about listening and its importance. We learned about speaking and we know, I mean, no one needs to tell us the importance of speaking. We know it. I've given you some tips to improvise on your skill. And now, reading. You know, only when you read, and listen, obviously, I told you before, right? These are receptive skills. Only when you gain from outside, you can give back. If you are not gathering information, if you are not in a position to acquire knowledge, if you don't have any aspiration to learn, naturally, you will not have anything to speak. I encourage you people to dig into reading. You know, if you become a reader today, the chance of becoming a great leader tomorrow is so big. But you need to read. You need to have ideas. You need to take in the valuable, maybe, ideas, opinions of great minds. You need to learn. We need to have that aspiration. And reading is definitely going to be, a, it should be a major part in your life. You have to spend your time reading every single day. If you want to improvise on your own personality, you have to read. When you fail to read, you know, will not have sufficient ideas to express us. You can never be spontaneous. You will always, we'll always falter when we don't have ideas. Francis Bacon, one of the great essays, you know, he says, reading maketh a full man and woman, obviously. If you're not reading, you're missing a major part of your life. It takes you to places. You don't literally have to travel, but still it takes you to places. Read, and that is very important. Let's see a few things about reading and we'll move on. You know, take charge of your reading. 
this is a very very important skill if you think that sir i wasn't reading in the past i don't like spending my time reading if you have these kinds of thoughts in your mind my dear friends listen to this very carefully reading is absolutely important and this skill is critical to your success it really helps you to become successful in your life we need to read regularly so how are we going to do this for some reading becomes a very boring task you know whenever we lack sleep if we read some get sleep you know that is how we been trained we never give importance to reading at all obviously these days we do read lot of uh, messages in whatsapp and social media but then if a big forward comes naturally we are not reading right anyhow we are also not interested in that but i want you people to consider reading as a joy you know when you consider reading as your joy things happen automatically you choose some writer go with some indian writers there are many writers you know you can you can go ahead with fiction writers non fictions are there motivation books are there just pick one and stay connected with a book it builds your brain it gives sufficient kind of energy for you to be creative sometimes you fail uh, sir uh, one of my friends he or she used to read a lot she is able to read uh, you know 50 pages in a in an hour and i am not able to do that it's okay you don't have to you don't have to compare yourself with anyone else you be your own competitor you set your own level okay but make sure that you read as you read you will come across a lot of new words now and then underline it and find its meaning probably if you are learning as i've given you a method it will be really good because it stays in your mind you know you write in that book itself underline it don't just assume otherwise don't just leave just by underlining and uh, don't move on you stick you stay there you learn that word initially and then move on it's okay we are not in a race let's enjoy reading let's take our time let's bite one bite at a time why do we have to swallow the entire thing let's go in a slow pace let's enjoy life build your vocabulary and obviously with uh, dictionary you have mobile apps also learn learn words and if possible highlight important things in your book it helps you maybe when you when you uh, get back to the same book after some years it will give you a lot of memories highlight it make understanding your prime important you need to understand it otherwise no point in reading you know you know when we were in college we used to have kind of race we used to say i covered 30 i i I've, i've covered this novel in a week and all those things we used to say with friends we used to compete and learn sometimes we miss the point just to finish the page we shouldn't read we need to comprehend it we need to understand it as you read you need to imagine things imagine the beauty of words and the situations if you're going to imagine obviously it's going to last for a long time and make a goal i mean have a goal have a reading goal also because if you are not having a goal definitely we will not travel in that direction have a short term goal in this week i am going to read these many pages you know take a book you just compel yourself to read 
motivate yourself to read because it's going to help it's one of those big rugs you're going to climb on it one day it's going to be a very very useful tool for you so build it up my dear friends find time maybe one hour begin reading and as days pass by probably you can increase the duration of time duration of days also right so plan i encourage you people to read that's one of the biggest and very important skills and i don't want you people to skip this skill if you're going to skip the skill you remember the initially i remember telling you one example of video game you cannot skip one and move to the next one understand the relevance of this skill also it's very important and it will help you so good luck with that finally we are going to writing skill we have been writing exams right from our younger ages you might be asking me sir is that a skill to do this writing in a creative way is a skill i'm not just talking about copying it from one paper to another as most of the times we do the assignments i'm i'm not talking about simply copying from one text to another page writing is a creative process it is also an art words can really do wonders you know you find something right in front of you and ask five different people to describe the same event five of them will be expressing from a different point of view because that's how imagination works every single person here is unique the experiences are unique lifestyle is unique our thinking process is also unique so when we want to express narrate describe something you know the creativity it comes out words can be really magical you can play with words you can have charm with words but my dear friends don't forget the importance of grammar also because we are focusing on a second language if it is a mother tongue the story is different but now we need to have strong command over grammar we need to know what is what we need to know the right kind of construction if we fail to understand which word comes after which word which part you know we fail in that most of the times we miss parts we assume that we are expressing ourselves clearly but then we are not we need to have strong grammar base so reform yourselves learn again maybe just refresh yourselves you know these irregular verbs just find some time to learn find some time to learn phrases some 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 idiomatic expressions these things they beautify the language when you write it you can be really creative you don't have to be very mundane you can be creative to the maximum when you have luxury of knowing all these phrases idioms and expressions be creative even when you get a chance of expressing something don't just inform you know you just reveal yeah wow beautiful word la informing is just in a plain language but revealing it has magic it has mystery like 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 the words which you read uh, in detective fictions 
they don't give you the details they give you they make you in uh, they 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 leave you in the suspense mode so that's that's creativity my dear friends that you can do only when you cater to the skill only when you work on the skill if you really want to write i think you can most of the time fear stops us from writing and we all are special we have something very very unique to tell in our own way we don't have to replicate i'm not saying that you should not learn you should not read reading if without reading you cannot write you cannot write without reading read extensively if you're just going to write if you if you have an idea of writing a poem or a short story just you know without having any access to the poems which has been written in the past i think it's very difficult read extensively understand the nuances of writing and obviously you can be creative and your writing should be special even if you are an engineering graduate or arts graduate a science graduate these days research plays a vital role are you going to simply inform or are you going to reveal in revealing there lies magic there lies interest there lies creativity work on it your first draft will not be as you expected it's okay edit it rewrite it redo you know we will not be able to achieve uh, perfection in the first go itself that's when practice comes you start writing every single day you know make sure that you write for a page write something in a page about any topic any topic what if you know i'm just giving you one or two clues what if you could be an animal what would you be just just you know create something write something if you just had 24 hours to live what would you do you know just put on some some odd question and be creative our task is just to write so we need to have some ideas to write so propel your mind with some fascinating question and then just move on and then just just write you don't have to worry about people you don't have to worry what others say no one needs to see anything of yours but begin because you are building your own life you are building a rung you are building a skill and that will help you if you could relive any moment in your life what would it be and why ask all those why questions what questions you know create create and make your life extraordinary my dear friends don't be normal normal is boring be special be special and it's in your hands sometimes you feel that sir i don't have that in me that special in me there is always a way you know we always associate snail to slow but then there is a way i'm not trying to give you any shortcut ways but then these are ways to climb the rung build your skills know yourself know where you need to improvise on know what all the qualities you need to add on in order to climb the ladder of success practice because this is not whatever you've been hearing now listening now it might not help you if you are not putting yourself if you are not trying yourself by your own you need to practice if you feel you lack in certain areas take efforts 
build yourself and be ready when opportunity knocks you should be in a position to open it up you know a heart without dreams is like a bird without feathers my dear friends it's never too late to focus on your dreams so my dear friends do you want to be skillful you can it all starts with a dream reach for the stars thank you guys thank you for this wonderful opportunity i believe it was useful thank you